she signs the paychecks, allowing him to manage the likes of J.B. Trask, Luxus Lenny Lane, etc. More than once we've seen him get his clock clean, and I hope it happens tonight. Absolutely. He, uh, he reminds me uh, a little bit of a uh, nerdy Jimmy the Mouth of the, Mouth of the South Heart. Absolutely. Boy, that is right. And nerdy with a capital N there, pal. No question about it. Wait a minute. J.B. Trask and Plumtree, a little condolence call here in front of us. I'm not sure if that's his tie or his there tongue hanging. Wait a second. J.L. is not one to stand by and let this uh, condolence call, this conference, go on. He wants action. Drop down in the ring now. Stuck on the clothesline by Trask. Oh, tremendous elbow. And Trask taken right off his feet. Did 180 there. And, Tom, we have talked so many times about the tremendous athletic ability of Mr. JL. Well, you don't sign a uh, contract with WCW if you're a piker. This guy is tremendous. I mean, aerial moves. I mean, he does strength moves. You saw him a little earlier pick up J.B. Trask and just plant it in the ring. At 225 pounds, that's a great deal. Well, this is a very deceptive 225 pounds because he is a powerhouse in that ring, and I've seen him brawl with the best of them. Right now, Rick, it's all science in there. He could have him right here. Oh, kind of two. It's all science, and it's all tremendous skill right now, but let me tell you, I have seen these two go into balconies and hit each other with chairs and tables. I know you've got a, a bad pin underneath you this week, pal. Be nimble regardless. <laughs> I, I think I need to be. I, tell you, I, I think what we're finding out here is the real Brentwood bad boy maybe O.J. Simpson. Well, it, it could be. You know, on the other hand, I don't want to take anything away from J.B. Trask. I have seen this guy literally get his rear end kick from stem to stern and come back for more. He is a tough man. Look at tremendous vertical duplex. Oh! And again, perfect example of the power of Mr. JL. That's a 230-pounder that he had him absolutely vertical there. Referee Eddie Sharkey in for the count. Oh, Plumtree now. This is going to be a very ineffectual attempt here on Morty's part to get a chant going for J.B. Trash. That, that's great. That's uh, real brilliant. The crowd started to chant uh, J.B. Trash now. Absolutely. And that's what they're doing right now. You call. Oh. Drilled him to the midsection. Trask now. Oh! Spinning neck breaker. And just that quickly, in the world of professional wrestling, the tide can turn. And now, J.B. Trask at least momentarily had an advantage there, but he's taken some pounding right from the outset. It seemed the pounding that he took uh, what didn't allow him to get back up and uh, take advantage of that neck breaker. Absolutely. Absolutely. And cameraman Al Pavon right in on top of the action with Northern Premier Wrestling. We're at the ballroom in Gibbon, Minnesota. Mick Karsh along with top force here, Rick Charles, and thankfully missing from a ringside table right now, the child prodigy, Johnny Pollop. Uh, line for a glass of Kool-Aid. Oh, yeah, he certainly, it better be half a glass, I think. It's, <laughs> it's right before bed for him, you know. You know. He is kind of half pint size. He, he is that. Oh, that man makes friends wherever he goes. Hey, 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 just go take a no, seat, will you? He heard us talk. Go take a seat, get the booster chair and go away. Oh, right in front of us now, ladies and gentlemen, J.B. Trask choking Mr. J.L. over that second ring rope. And now look at this, here's a brave man. What a, Mortimer, oh, this what an idiot Mortimer Pumphrey is to even t attempt to lay his hands on Mr. J.L. Oh, look at this. Oh, what a cheap shot. Oh, Plumtree hurt his elbow. This is a tough man. This is a back alley brawler here. Oh, baby. Plumtree stirring up that hornet's nest. Oh, he hurt his pinky, Tom. He hurt his hand. Is that where that was? Okay, anyhow. Oh, did you see that? Well, we were a trap came to his defense over on the other side. Absolutely. This is this is very typical of Trask, Lenny Lane, anybody associated with Plumtree. They'll lure a man into a false sense of security. And he drilled him right to the solar plexus that time. Referee Eddie Sharkey telling the wrestlers take it back into the ring or he's going to call for the bell. I am very, very surprised that at least to this point, and, and hard to believe as it might be if you haven't seen these wrestlers often, this is a subdued match for J.B. Trask and Mr. J.L. Believe me. Oh, that'll give you a Charlie horse. You oh, yeah. talk about a knee injury. <laughs> well, I have one, and I, I don't think I'd want J.B. Trask to do that to my knee. I don't want to take anything away from J.B. Trask, not for a minute. He was the Northern Premier Champion. He is a tough, tough man. He has also wrestled for the World Wrestling Federation on occasion. He's been in this business about 14 or 15 years. 
And despite his deceptive appearance, he's not the biggest guy in the world. He is a brawler. He's a roughhouser. And now he might have Mr. J.L. in a bad way here. And I guarantee you, Trask is a ring veteran. He's going to work on the legs. Absolutely. Take the pins out. Take the weapons away. Like a, like a tough technician, I guess, would be a great way to describe J.B. Trask. Because as you said, he's not physically ominous. However, he is tough, and he is a great ring technician. And, you know, I, I don't envy you in the fact that you have to go back to the radio station and face, was it Patty? Was that her name? <laughs> After the, the verbal torrent that she received on the hands of Mortimer Crabgrass. Uh, yeah, Mortimer Crabgrass is a good way to describe him. Yeah, she, uh, I am here to defend her honor, and as a matter of fact, uh, maybe uh, challenging uh, Mr. Plumtree to a match sometime oh. later in the tour. Well, let me tell you something. You need some money? You need anything? What do you need? You need a ring attendant? I'm with you. As J.B. Trask has, Mr. J.L. hung up upside down in the corner. Tom, this match surprisingly heavy in the favor of J.B. Trask. I am rather surprised about that, considering, considering the uh, speed that Mr. J.L. has. Strength is a real package. He really is. And uh, J.B. Trask is, uh, is handling him at this point. But uh, we'll see about that. As you know, things always turn uh, one way and the other in uh, wrestling, depending upon the amount of energy that the uh, individual has, or luck. Well, J.B. Trask thought he had Mr. J.L. in a compromising position, but the tenacity, the staying power, listen to this crowd, of Mr. J.L. second to none in this sport. Oh, what a chop! Oh, he nailed him. Oh, and a kick to the side of the head. Nowhere for J.B. Trask to go that time. Whipped all the way across. There. Oh, no! Oh. Heard in the cheap seats, but oh. then it uh, looks like Mr. J.L., the leg that Trask had been working on, got kind of caught up in the turnbuckle when he tried the uh, drop kick. Well, I'm not sure that that's all that got caught up on the turnbuckle there. <laughs> Maybe a little more serious uh, damage. And once again, Plumtree trying to get the Trask chant, the crowd having none of it, calling him, as you said, Rick, J.B. Trash. Very, very close to the truth. There's a forearm shot as J.L. is on the ring ropes. Oh, why don't you send him a Western Union telegram? For heaven's sake, there's a backslide, and this one's history, kind of one, two. Oh. Well, Trask certainly had the back body drop in mind, but for heaven's sake, he waited until uh, JL came in from another zip code. Oh, there's a cheap shot right underneath that, yeah, that, that knee. That, that move can be seen on the other side of Iowa. <laughs> Absolutely. You bet. And now Trask. This appears to be an attempt at a half Boston Crab, and let me tell you something. Actually, that's an Indian deathlock, a reversal of sorts, and this is excruciating. And this is a point in time where the, the guts, the determination, and the heart of JL are really going to come into play here because this, and once again, now that time, I'm not sure if it was fatigue or frustration on the part of J.B. Trask. Wait a second, Trask is claiming that JL gave up. The referee says, I asked him if you give up. For heaven's sake, Trask will take any advantage possible to try to get a win here. Stuck of the clothesline. J.L. crossbody. Count of one, two. It's open. Oh, man. <laughs> Once again. Was the referee a little slow with his count that time? Or, uh, well, he might have been, and I guarantee you. Blumtree's heart skipped a beat. Wait a second. He grabbed him. Oh, power bomb in for the cover. Count of one, two. It's over. 